Immersive Van Gogh Exhibit Dallas is where me and my daughter Peyton recently got to check out some amazing art. Not everyone wants to look at paintings on the wall. This is truly an experience. The art moves, it's set to music. It is the way people are gonna be looking at art in the future in my opinion, I loved it. You can jump to the end, just go to the chapters below or just click to the end if you want Peyton and I's review. Otherwise, check out some amazing art here next. We went to the Lighthouse Art Space in Dallas, but this exhibit is in, I believe, over 20 cities across America.
And of course, as to be expected, there was a really nice gift shop at the end. You could walk around, posters and books. I think my daughter bought some pins, hoodies, real art. It was a lot of neat stuff actually. And the, the staff were really, really nice. There was really something for everybody. Really, it would be worth going to just for the gift shop, even though it was just kind of a pop-up gift shop there at the venue. But we found a lot of neat things. If you like Van Gogh, you definitely walk out with something like that sweatshirt. <laughs> Thank you. 
Again, this one's in downtown Dallas, but there's over 20 cities across America where you can check this out. Details in the video description. All right, Van Gogh, the experience. You're kind of an art director person. Yeah. What'd you think? I loved it. Um, I thought they like, I liked how, I mean, obviously you have to like add and like change stuff to make it such an immersive experience. Um, but I really think they honored like yeah. Van Gogh and they didn't like, like they were definitely creative with it and they like did their own thing, but it was a very respectful way. Like, you know how like sometimes we'll just like, you know? It wasn't, and it was. I'm, I don't know if that makes sense. No, it does. I, I said to you but, in the car, I felt like it was a, a kind of accessible to people who weren't like art nerds. Yeah. Is that kind of what you're trying to say? Uh, yeah, we had talked about that earlier. We're like, I think if you were someone who like didn't really care for any artist or going to exhibits, I think you could still go to this and have a lot of fun and walk yeah. around and be like, oh, that's so cool. And like maybe even get like a new perspective on art. Or I liked how they stage. incorporated incorporated the music and the movement yeah. to, well, a painting. Yeah, there was one Paintings. point uh, where there was a song that's also featured on Inception. It's something in French. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> and by like the third time we went well, they're through. they're falling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> by like the third time we went through, I was like, wait, I've heard this. Oh. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, like I've heard this. Like what even? I um, liked it. I liked it a lot. But yeah, I thought it was great. And it was right in downtown Dallas. I yeah. guess there's two of them. We checked out Immersive Van Gogh, I think yeah, is what it's called. I think there's also one in Arlington, but I don't oh, know. Oh, maybe. I don't know. One. I love this way of going to an art exhibit event. It's more of an event. It's more of an experience yeah. than going. I mean, we, we actually like museums, but most people don't. Okay. So if you're into it, you should probably check this out. Even if you're not yeah. into it, you should check it out. Did Van Gogh cut off his ear? He did. They didn't talk about that today. No. Next time. I had fun with you. I had fun with you. You should check out the Van Gogh experience if you're in Dallas. I'll link to it below. I don't know how much longer it goes. They're like, they're not only in Dallas. They're like everywhere. I'll link to the website. And if you're in Dallas, it's there. And if you're in Sheboygan, I don't know okay. if it's there. Is that a place? I don't think so. I think it is. Mm. Wisconsin. Okay. Van Gogh things. Go see it.